Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of the Dimensional, some of the Dimensional, so I haven't did a video in a couple days, so today I want to discuss, uh, who my favorite celebrities are. Uh, this is just part one, because I, I got a lot of my favorite celebrities, so if y'all like, uh, what experience with celebrities I idolize and worship, being guy and girl, because I don't give a fuck, all guys got a guy they idolize and like the way they fucking look, like I like the way they even look, but I'm not fucking gay, there's a, there's a thin line between that. Of course, I'm gonna idolize a guy. I'm gonna like a guy, and I think females fucking like him for the way he looks. I mean, that's the way shit is. But hey, check this out. Chicks do the same thing. But look, my favorite fucking guy is Dobby Vanity, but a lot of shit fought up in the media with him being supposedly child, whatever the fuck. The funny thing about it is, I had this conversation with my cousin, who's fucking was in the scene thing growing up. And I'm like, why did they, why don't they ever arrest a motherfucker, man? Arrest him! Like, why do y'all keep having accusations against dude, but dude's still living a millionaire? Like, I don't get that. Like, wh where did, I don't get that. Like, like I, I bought the dude's CD like two years ago, and a lot of stuff in MySpace a long time ago. But why they never arrest him? Y'all can bring up all these accusations. Okay, Takashi 69s already got in trouble for the stuff. I've already discussed some other video, but no, no, no. Die Vanity is one of the guy characters. That were my, I idolized uh, in my 20s, uh, early 20s. That was something I really wasn't into when I got out. Because I did four years and then I'm still managing my life afterward, you know. And uh, and I'm 30 now, so that's just like um, a lot easier uh, to see things, especially after over time. But my point is, my favorite woman singer is Lene Armstrong. But Dobby Vanity, I got another uh, guy I idolize, or guys, or celebrities that I like. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Lene Armstrong from Aqua, the song Barbie Girl. My favorite songs by them are Happy Boys, Happy Girls. It's a pretty good fucking song. It beats really fucking sick, actually. Uh, when I first heard the song, I listened to the whole fucking CD. I was like, damn, god damn, this music's fucking elite as fuck. Like, really, I just saw some whack shit, like, I was like, so I was like, yo, this shit's fucking the best music I've ever fucking heard. Ever, bitch. God damn. Yo, Lene, like, Lene Armstrong, that's her name, and she's Norwegian. She's a Norwegian singer, and a Danish band, or, um, Denmark, I think it's Danish? I know, it's like, they got a weird way to, do like, Norwegian and Norway is, like, two different fucking things, you know? Like, when it comes to, like, American... American Indian, we don't say that, you know, it's American, American, you know, like Czechoslovakians, and they call them Czechs, or Chechens, or something, like, whoa, they, like, they just call them Czechs, <laughs> like, damn, it's funny, you know, to refer to the people, uh, in its noun form, um, uh, refer to them in their noun form, so, yeah, and Lene Armstrong is my favorite artist, woman artist, and Dobby Vanity was always my guy in my early 20s. And my Growing up, I liked Tupac Shakur. I had an obsession with Tupac Shakur when I was, uh, let's see. Oh, no, like 14, 15, 16? No, it was 15, 16... 15 and 16, it was like two years, three years, I was like completely obsessed with him. After like the second year, it started dying down, I was really obsessed with him for like over, like, I don't know, like two years of high school. I was still throwing up Westside when I was in fucking 12th, 10th grade and throw that shit up no more. I was like, yo, I don't know, I was like throwing up Westside because Tupac did it, that's all, because it looked cool. My favorite song by Tupac Shakur is All About You. All about you, every other city we go. Every other video, it's all about you. Yeah. It's about banging bitches in that song, so I like listening to that song and shit. And the kid that does the housing technique on the fucking, on the uh, runway at the end, he did pretty fucking good at that. I was like, yo, what, what movie is that? I had to ask my friend, I was like, what fucking dance is that? It says housing. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. I pop, I b-boy pop. I b boy pop. I don't do really much downward fucking hand motion and shit, but I can dance pretty fucking good, and I can drop some, so I can make up for it. You get what I'm saying? Because 
a lot of motherfuckers don't have to do tons of fucking flares. Eventually, at one point, that gets boring, and they don't want to see the same flipping because after you see five people do it, another dude move a certain way. A lot of people in the time manipulation. Some motherfuckers can like flare. Well, that's another fucking topic. But look, yeah, and uh, the artist in the song song that I did on my breakdance song was uh, actually an artist name from the '90s. This song music that's lost and lost. No one listens to no more. And I find it, and I'm like, yo, this shit's elite. I've always been listening to bubblegum pop music. That's where it originally comes from, Aqua. They're like the creators of it, you know? And the name of that song is called No More Lookin' by Cherry. C-H-E-R-R-I. Cherry, No More Lookin'. No More Lookin'. <laughs> Look, that's all song pretty fucking good, though. Nah, it just it's like one of them songs, like... If I was about to go to the club and start dancing and shit and getting bitches and stuff, that would be like the ref- that would be like the reflected end of their ego inside my mind, right? And then, and then I would be like, I would listen to another song that would solidify my masculine ego. There, you get what I'm saying? And then I'd take my headphones off and go try to talk to the chicks. You get what I'm saying? And I was just thinking today, like people were like, at, dude was asking me fucking questions of what months back, and I made a video. How I talk to chicks. What what the thing about that is, you got to create something for them, no matter if it's a hello, hi, or a topic, because you get you build off, you build conversation off that. That's the best fucking advice I can give without giving you something to. That's something you do. You build off something, and that's where you t- t- start it from. Because I've haggled bitches in public before. That's where I got. They're not even connected to my social structure, and or might be. And I try to bring them in by asking who they know. At one point, of course, afterwards, it's not gonna run up to someone and say, "Hey, you know this person." It's not, it doesn't work that way. There's, there's. I could get that far in like three or four sentences. I just don't see this one chick, Morgan, at fucking PetSmart. Yo, Morgan here in fucking PetSmart, and this city is hot as fuck. I thought she works at Hooters now. The bitch didn't add me on fucking Facebook. It's dumb as fuck. I like that bitch. She was real nice to me every time I go into PetSmart. Especially when she recognized me the second time around. She was like 20. I was like, uh, I was like, you look really good. She like, what do you say? I was like, you look really good. Damn. I'm not going to change what the fuck I just said, bitch. It's just crazy. Yeah, they know what shit is. But it's all good. She's got a boyfriend and shit. She don't want to fuck that up. You get what I'm saying? Because a lot of dudes are trying to add her. The bitch dude was calling her in the fucking pet smart while other friend was trying to buy some shit for his re- retarded ass fucking uh bearded dragon. His bearded dragon died in a goddamn year. Isn't that goddamn crazy? It should have lived way longer than that. Motherfucker never clean his cage. That shit would be like I mean he cleans his cage every once in a while, but like wiping it down, dude, not like spraying it out and cleaning it out. Motherfucker killed his goddamn I don't even know I'm friends with him no more, that's the Christian guy. Goddamn killed his fucking bearded dragon. That's dumb as fuck, man. <clears throat> so look. Uh yeah, Morgan, uh Turns around, this dude's calling her in PetSmart and goes, uh, she's like, Ugh, like, mad or some shit and looking at me like, she's got time to listen to me and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck these dudes, what the fuck, I'm sorry. <coughs> she was like, she knew these other dudes I knew and shit. <coughs> they were rappers, I don't want to mention their fucking names, fuck those people. Other dudes kind of cool still, but, uh... I told this one dude that I'd fuck his girl, uh, I, that I f- told his girlfriend to suck my dick right, and that I would fight him, <laughs> just because of some other shit happened, and they're not even a part of it. <laughs> That's how gangster I am. Geek gangster! <laughs> not really. Seriously. Uh, yeah. So, I, uh, yeah, told these motherfuckers that well, back to the topic of my favorite celebrities. Yeah, Tupac Shakur had an obsession with. Unconditional Love. Uh, he's got one song. Wanna be a... Uh, just Wanna Be a N-I-G-G-A. That's a good song. Just Wanna Be a... I don't say the N-word. I don't even say it in N-I-G-G-A form. Uh, it's just something I don't say and shit. Because I'm from, like, the South. The Deep South. Like a fucking little nigga. I guess the motherfucker's password is Little Nicky. Nicky is his password. His Little Nicky was his login if Nicky was his password. On Red Moon Online. On the Deosa server. Yeah, check out RedmoonClassic.com. Does people need really need more motherfuckers up there, dude? That game lead as fuck. We should all play. Now, uh... My next celebrity I always liked, or first one of rappers I've ever heard was Master P and Exhibit. 
Master P were true to song Hootie Who and the song uh, Exhibit Paparazzi. It's a shame. That's why I say extra, extra large, extra large paparazzi from that song. He's like, it's a shame. It's in the rap game only for the money and the fame. Extra large, extra large paparazzi. Yeah. Extra large paparazzi. So, um, so yeah, I'm just here chilling and shit and how fucking... I, I made I made the universe flip on itself. I wanted to be a really good rapper. I'm a really good creative rapper. That's better than a lot of mumble, better than mumble rap altogether. There's no way that's not possible. And the reality of sense of things, God knows if there's a goddamn God, that that I'm fucking better than them. Regardless, like we add up all the statistics, I win. But they win because it's mainstream and motherfuckers are dumb as fuck and their brainwashed shit's promoted on the media anyway. If I was promoted on the media, and let me tell you this, if I was promoted on the media the same way, with just a few little whack shit I got, if you want to say it's whack, it would be good. Motherfucker would like I would have like I'm like a million fans if I got promoted 10 million times. You get what I'm saying? I would have like... A, 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 I would have fucking motherfuckers. You get what I'm saying? <clears throat> And uh, in case 47, the rapper's whack as fuck. He's an Eminem carbon copy, and his words are just... It seems like he just takes a word and rhymes it. When I rhyme, I do that. But I create structure behind my bars in each rhyme. You notice that? I can't say one sentence and get to the next sentence without you going, God damn, that's sick. And then to the next sentence and go, God damn, that's nice. Like, like in my one track, I go, other oh, shit... Factual Nostradamus on Major League Rapping. Y'all check out Major League Rapping YouTube channel, MajorLeagueRapping.com. Uh, <coughs> I'm like, I say, a factual Nostradamus and fuck predictions. Herbal chronic and blunts when smoking bitches. Ironic that I caught your bitches and robbed your kitchen of your coat weed and knocked you senseless. I got vivid dreams of living the streets as an animal, a cannibal, the damn damage you when I eat. First off, I took off like a rocket to take flight to make you bite the pavement for a crooked jaw when I aimed right. Like LeBron James precise, basketball nice, it can be done even with a referee fight. When the round starts, break apart your cartilage and harm. Your bodily form torn from the war I caused, your, your ashes to fall, your casket funeral fire was burned on accident. There's an action afterward that resurrect you like Lazarus, so I can beat your ass back to death. I formulate toxin hazardous with accurate, backward, reverse engineering, Area 51, mass experimental, genetic material, matter, on DMT acid to perceive rational attacks in advance to blast your ass into the past. Bragging on the fact that I brandished automatic with a massive clip extension clashing with a bomb suicide, I gotta reload to add it. I'm an army soldier. Hey yo, bro, hold this rifle. Rather snipe you up close with. Fist to fist combat. 